Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Hiromi was coming towards us, or wading towards us actually, in the water with her awesome swimsuit. And then it seemed like Miko has a crush on me. But that was it. So we knew. And then we went home, I think. Hmm. As the week passes along, I find swimming practice to become the highlight of going to school. Nice, something to look forward to. And wait, hold on. The week, the week passed already? Or oh, it's passing along. Hmm. But as for actual study, it's not going according to plan. Well, I mean, if if what you're looking, you know, forward to at school is swimming. Studying probably isn't part of your plan. Swimming practice is in the afternoon. But what should I do in the meantime? I should probably head to the library and try to catch up. Good idea. Don't want to fall behind in school too. You gotta do your best in school. The best you can do. This may not be a school where I can get away with being lazy. Oh. You have other scores that, that you can get away with being lazy? A voice calls out behind me as I'm about to enter the library. Ada, I was looking for you. You were? Why? Yeah, I actually was about to say you were too. I just wanted to talk to you about something. She grabs me out of the hand and drags me off somewhere. What, what do you want to talk about? People start looking at us as we pass by. Is that Hiromi? Who is that she's with? Some poor guy who she sunk her claws into? I wonder if she plans to do to him what she did to her. Wait, what? Do to her what? Uh, I'm scared. The whispers around us doesn't seem to bother Hiromi though. Can't help but feel embarrassed to be led like this. We eventually stop in a small hallway with no one else around. I just wanted to let you know something private. Hiromi seems deadly serious at the moment. Um, what is this about? What could she want to tell me? Please don't mention drowning around Miko again. Oh, this is what happened? Don't mention drowning? Oh, did something happen to her? Yes, she made me swear that I wouldn't tell anyone. All I wanted to do was let you know that you shouldn't mention it. Oh no, is that part of the tragic incident? Oh, I feel bad now. At all. She sheepishly plays with her hair. I just felt that you should know. Don't worry, I get it. I swear that I won't mention it around her. She looks relieved when I say that. Thank you. I've been the only person she's trusted for a long time. To be honest, I'm surprised she hasn't chased you out yet. You're different, somehow. That's the only way I can explain it. What do you mean by different? All I can do is shrug. I find it easier just to not let things bother me. So Nico isn't a big problem, really. I would think that's the case. Oh? Do you have something else on in mind? She leans forward, looking at me closely. I originally thought you were a cold person. No. No, you're just making accusation, that Miko. But it seems like you're not so bad. It's just that you hide it, whether it's intentional or not. She appears to be analyzing me in a clinical manner. Hiding what? Being put under the microscope like this makes me fairly uncomfortable. I'm just me. I'm not really sure what else to say. 
she just shakes her head. Well, I'm still happy that you're here. Aw, thanks, Hiromi. We've really had so much trouble getting new members. People keep spreading rumors about us. What, what kind of rumors? It isn't fair. She's starting to lose her cool. This is obviously something which makes her angry. So, that's why we're both glad you joined. It was kind of lonely with just the two of us. And, and the uh, bathing suits tearing apart? Don't they say that three is a crowd? I'm not quite sure. I think they're talking about dates. But I'm glad to be here too. For the first time in my life, I actually want to get good at something. It's just something about these two which makes me want to change. That's great. I yeah, find friends like that. Before I go though, don't hold anything against Miko. She may seem bossy at times, but really, it's not her fault. I swear that she's really a nice person. She just doesn't really show it sometimes. Yeah, I, I can actually see that because Miko gets flustered a lot. I get it. I'll try not to step on her toes. That's right. I cannot help but feel that there isn't something Hiromi is telling me about herself, though. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, we've only met recently. But there's a lot you're going to need to know about us if you want to survive the swimming club. I got that impression from everyone else. Hmm, what, what, what stuff? Though they didn't really go into detail about what happened. I'm glad they don't. It's best that everyone doesn't keep bringing it up. Why do you want to know so badly, anyway? I'm worried about the club. And about my safety. It obviously hasn't been doing well since that incident. I don't understand why you need to know about it. You're already helping the club without knowing a thing about it. Now then, I'll be going. But, but, I, I don't want to know. I'm, I'm scared. See you soon, Keira. She leaves with a smile on her face. I don't really think I'm doing that much for them. I mean, I just joined. That's it. Perhaps merely having someone to share your problems with can make a world of difference. That is true. Very true. Hmm. Are we going to the swimming club now? Ah, yes we are. Finally. It's time for swimming practice. It's only Miko here again today. Hey there. Hello, Miko. I'm keen to get training. What are we doing today? Since Hiromi isn't here... Hmm, what does that mean? You seem to ponder to yourself for a moment. You're going to do more laps. Lots more of them. Aw, oh, man. I'll watch you and let you know how your technique is developing. I don't need any more further pushing to get me into the pool. Diving straight in, I begin to lose myself in the vast blue depths before me. There's a strange sort of clarity that you get in the water. Nice cooling sensation, huh? All you have is one simple goal. Get to the end. I'm faster this time, I can tell. Nice. I managed to perform about five laps before getting out. Pride swells in my chest as I get out of the pool. How was that, Mako? She doesn't respond. Uh, everything okay? Uncomfortably, she shifts around on the spot. S Sorry, Keita. I wasn't paying attention. This swimsuit doesn't feel right. Uh, wait, what? W what do you mean? Uh, doesn't feel right? What's wrong? She immediately takes off towards the changing room. Um, uh, what? What happened? I know I shouldn't follow her, but she looks troubled. Miko, what's wrong? Oh. And that's what happens when you follow a girl into the changing room. Miko stands there, readjusting her swimsuit awkwardly. 
she runs her fingers underneath the edges of her swimsuit. Th this is a size too small for me. Did my swimsuit shrink? I think so. Yeah, I mean your boobs are like they're like technically popping out and you're like it's going up your crotch there with the down there near your butt. Or did I? Did I? Did I put on weight? I don't think that's the issue. Or maybe all the weights in your boobs? I don't know. She seems legitimately panicked at the idea. But I do so much work. This isn't fair. Th there's no way that I put on weight, right? Right? Or muscle, or or you're you know toning your muscle. Muscle is heavier than fat. I haven't put on weight, right, Kata? I haven't really noticed the difference. Are are you saying that you've been looking at my figure? Hey, you hey, hey, you put me in this trap right here. You trapped me. She shrinks away from me, trying to hide herself. This stupid swimsuit, because it's so tight. She doesn't have to finish that sentence for me to understand what she's talking about. But, but, that doesn't mean that you get to stare at me whenever you feel like it. I, I'm not! But, if, even though I can't hide anything. Well, I'm... I mean, you just kind of said it yourself, you can't really hide anything. She slips out of her fingers. Wait, what? She slips out her fingers out of her swimsuit, slapping against her skin. It causes a slight ripple along her body. Oh... Ouch! She winces a little bit. It's too tight. N now I'm cold. I've been out of the pool for so long. Um, maybe you should shower or something? Dumbfounded, I find something utterly mes mesmerizing about it. Uh, oh, that's what the problem is. Th this is one of my older swimsuits. Oh, that makes sense. How do you know? And I didn't bring a spare. She then looks over to me. S stop that! If you're taking advantage of the situation. No, I'm not. I. Well, hold on. Maybe. I mean, I am in the girls' changing room. S -s Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, of course you did. I know how you think. No, you don't. Get, get back in the pool. You're going to do extra laps for being such a pervert. No, no, I. I came to see how if you're okay. Dang it. The idea of that does not appeal to me. My muscles are already at their limit. I... Could I please just... Nope. You've got to do more work to make up for this. Looks like I'm not arguing with that. Oh man, dang it. Darn it. Shouldn't have gone into the changing room. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of going into the changing room and seeing... Uh, Miko with that really tight swimsuit. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!